have never in the seven years we've been homeschooling had an actual structured art curriculum per se. Uh, we've done art classes. We've got a local fine arts uh, place center, whatever, that um, has homeschool art classes, which is great. We did that for a couple of years. Um, and we've worked out of books, which is what we're doing this year. So like this year, we've got like this one I've got for Jackson. He thought that looked really fun. So we did that. It's just drawing. And then I've got a sketching book because Jackson just has really discovered that he loves drawing with pens. I got from Hobby Lobby. This, I don't even know. I think I got this off of Amazon. Wyatt really loves comics. So we are working in this. I love Tangles. This was something that we got off of Amazon, I believe. And then I got this from a resale homeschool end of the year thing. Yeah. Did you make this out of a peg I doll? I did. This is for you. It's a peg doll. It's a peg doll. Yeah. This is my peg this doll. This is her peg doll. We love peg dolls, right? I made Evie a set of peg dolls. Backyard again peg dolls. Here, you want to take it? Yeah. Go ahead and take it. Bye. Bye. Um, I made her a set for Christmas last year and she really likes those little peg dolls. I'm going to have to make her some more. But I, that is the extent of my creativity and my artistic ability when it comes to painting and drawing. So definitely not a set curriculum of any kind for art. I pretty much just work out of some books and let the kids just follow their passions whenever they want to work with and create with. And then of course there's the Pinterest art ideas, which I'm kind of doing today. Uh, we decided to work with peg dolls again because I have a ton of them from uh, my leftover little Christmas project that you just saw. And I have air dry clay. So we're going to take some air dry modeling clay and flatten it out with some Play-Doh toys and wrap it around some peg dolls and make some little sculptures for them and paint them with some acrylic paint. Aside from painting the peg dolls and some air dry and kiln dry clay that I did in maybe 7th or 8th grade, I have zero experience with this, so we'll see how it goes. This specific kind of air dry modeling clay says it needs to dry for 24 hours and then you can use paint or markers. We're going to be using acrylic paint. Throw it around the bay. Need a ruler? Evie needs a ruler. Got it. I'm gonna squish that down, Mom. I got a surround. You squish it down? I got a restart. Mom, look! Mm, good job. Mom, look at my hair! Mm. Right now, Jackson is taking a Play Doh toy, because that's what we have. I didn't have sculpting stuff. And he is blending the seams of the clay together because when this dries if this is not blended together then this leg will break off from the rest of the body so he wants to keep his pikachu intact so right now that's what he's working on Pika! Evie's kind of abandoning the sculpting of um, the dolls here, so I am taking over and attempting to make a Twilight My Little Pony, which is looking something like a deranged wolf right now, but we'll see how it works. Right, Evie? Yeah. I see your beautiful painting. Painting's more fun right now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. It's the next day we gave our little characters here 24 hours to dry, and now they're gonna paint them with acrylic paint. So we may have gone a little crazy with the clay. <laughs> I think I did good. I think it looks great. No, we had fun, that's what matters, right? Mom, yep. I made Jackson made a tell much made. Pikachu. Wyatt, what'd you make? Onyx. An Onyx Pokemon. Caleb, what'd you make? This is crazy detail. Wyatt did help with that though, didn't he? Yeah. But you guys yeah, both did awesome. Things, but he made Mom, Maya, do me. Do me. And what did you make? A pony. A pony. With some help. Yeah. Yeah, and Mom helped me. I helped you. We like I got these at the Dollar Tree. This is my favorite way to do paint with my kids if it's not gonna be watercolor. Um, 
they close tight. So hang on one second, please. can I show them? Okay, they close tight, so if they're gonna come back to painting later, if they gotta take a break for whatever reason, it keeps the paint wet, doesn't dry out, and then they're super easy to clean out and they're dishwasher safe. My favorite thing for painting. Yep. Can you give me a piece, Mom? Her head off, huh? Yeah. She broke it. No! So here are their finished projects. I needed to help a little bit with the sculpting, but I really, aside from helping with uh, Evie's, which is this purple pony right here, I didn't really have to do much. This project did take about a day and a half because you do have to wait for that air dry clay to set before you can paint it. Overall, it was a pretty easy project to do. The kids had a lot of fun with it. And even though it's a lot more um, air dry clay than it is peg doll, I think it still went really well. So if you guys haven't done it yet, I wanna invite you to subscribe and to hit the little notification bell next to it so you can stay up to date on all the videos we put out and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.